Hey, anyone got a mic? What, sorry? You got a mic. Why do people keep picking domination on ministry? I don't know, it's garbage. I mean, but people keep picking it. I don't know, it's garbage, man. I want the random, but no. I just want to know why they keep picking this shitty map for domination. I mean, can somebody answer that? Hey everybody, Dorian back at it again with another video on Insurgency Sandstorm. So for those of you that are unaware, the developers dropped a state of production for update before this initial release of this update. And I just kind of wanted to go over that really quick so that we can actually see what was in this update before I really get to talking about domination and if it fits the game or not. So let's go ahead and go over that. The first one says, optimize map performance for outskirts, precinct, refinery, and summit. I think that this is great for those maps in particular, but I did not play these maps because they were not in the rotation for domination nation so it's interesting to me how they decided to optimize maps that weren't going to be used for the domination update i mean you would think that with a new game mode you'd want to put it on your best and most optimized maps but i guess we'll get into that later they introduced localization to 15 new regions for insurgency sandstorm sandstorm is now available in 20 different languages czech danish dutch finnish hungarian japanese korean norwegian polish portuguese portugal portuguese brazilian swedish thai chinese simplified chinese traditional turkish english french French, German, Italian, Russian, Spanish. That's pretty cool for people that want to play in those regions. They are introducing a new competitive leaderboard, competitive rank reset, an adjustment to rank decay. This is the one thing that I didn't like because from what I understand, this is the type of thing that's going to kind of force players to play competitive by penalizing the player. It's like if you play ranked once and you get a really good rank and you decide not to play it, after a certain amount of time, that time will eat away at your ranking mode. So say you have like a, I don't know, a gold. If you like leave the game mode for like four weeks and come back, it's going to be like a bronze because it's eating away at your freaking rank. So in order for you to keep that up, you have to stay active with it, which I don't know if that's still how it is. I don't know if they made any tweaks to that. That's just how I remember it. But if that's still how it is, I really dislike that system. It kind of like penalizes and forces the player to keep playing the mode. But if nobody participates in it, then it's just kind of like, what's the point? People just aren't on the competitive scene. I was testing this earlier to see if I could get enough matches to get myself a rank, which you need 10, by the way. And so Surprisingly, I got into the first one that I clicked on, even though it took about two minutes to get into, but I got into one. I was able to play, work with teammates, and actually win the match with the players that I was actually playing with. This is actually the one mode where I feel like people are actually working together in Sandstorm, so I was glad I was actually able to play one. But after that, I tried waiting for two more matches, and they just never came. Like, the second one, I waited around 10 minutes, and I just gave up after that, came back, went in, and after I got close to, like, five minutes, I was just like, okay, well, I guess the first one was just a fluke. So are people playing this, you know, competitive firefight? I would really like to know if anybody's actually picked up the game at all or tried out that mode like is anything that they're doing actually sparking that up again because if not then i mean it feels like a more wasted effort on trying to spark up an esport like again they should have made it so that everything in the base game was present before they decided to add in that competitive mode at least that's just my opinion if you have a different one let me know down below i also want to mention that when this dropped there was a free weekend going on so maybe competitive mode was more active then maybe there was a lot more people playing it i can't really say for sure because i was doing other things aside from playing you know the free weekend if you were around during free weekend tell me what was it active did anybody try it let me know moving on introducing support desk 2.0 getting help when you need it I'm assuming that's customer support. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. So I'm just assuming it's customer support. Moving on. They are introducing a prototype player reporting system as a means of measuring, messaging, and tracking toxic behavior within our community. Is Insurgency Sandstorm known for toxic behavior? Because I don't think I've... I mean, I've played the game a decent amount. I'm not a player that plays it every day, so I would like to know how toxic the community can get. Because the only time that I feel like anybody really talks is like towards the end of a match when everybody's like cheering and hollering that they won the game. So I can't really say for sure if it's actually that toxic. It's an interesting that they would put this here, but you know, it's whatever. Alpha rollout for the first wave of modding tools for content creators and enthusiasts. This sounds cool. When they say content creators, do they want us to actually go in there and check to see what's going on? Because I know nothing about modding. So from just going to fucking steam and pressing the subscribe button and i thought this had an nda so i i don't understand 
that. Okay. I mean, what am I supposed to report on? Like, oh my god, he's actually putting something together. That's really cool. I mean, I could. I kind of already sailed that ship, though. I'm just like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to do that because I don't know anything about modding. So if you're into that sort of thing, go for it, I guess. Redaction of select commitments. So this one's interesting. They're going to take back things that they said a while back. And this one kind of disappointed me, the first one here. Here's what they said. Story mode campaign. Oh, man. Damn. I think that's like the most disappointing one for me. Mac support, which I mean, if anybody's playing on Mac, that's weird. Linux support, oh, that kind of sucks. Local play on PvP modes, oh man. Weapons on back. I don't know, uh, it's kind of insignificant, but you know. New foregrip upgrade options. That one sounds minuscule to me, but I don't know. So I think the one that I'm most disappointed with is the story mode campaign. And yeah, this isn't like, oh, well, it's on the table. It's, you know, we're done with these. We're not committing development time in our path forward. Yeah, those are dead and gone, basically, which that sucks. But you know, <sighs> they got to do what they got to do, I guess. The last one is console updates. I'm just gonna read this one out because it, it, it doesn't really have too much information as to when the console release is coming. So it just says this. In closing, I wanted to share with the community that our team is plowing full speed ahead with our efforts at bringing Insurgency Sandstorm to console. Over the past few months, our partner Black Tower, I have never heard of these guys before, has been helping us to define and navigate timelines to deliver a release candidate, which will be used for a TRC technical requirements check Checklist. We're happy to report that everything is on track and in the next state of production in January I'm hoping to be able to share more concrete details on when you will be able to play our game with friends on console I think they said in previous state of productions that they wanted to release it in sometime in spring I think it was so it's gonna be coming up fairly soon here I think I just want to know how optimized their game is gonna be for console because if it's struggling on the PC I can't imagine what it's gonna be like on console. I'm just curious because you know first impressions are everything and if you know it bungles on the freaking console that's like a big potential marketplace that they're going to be losing although i don't know how frequent the reviews on a console would be because with steam it's literally right on the front page with xbox it's not exactly on the front page you just kind of have to like scroll down a little bit and look at like the you know the stars and all that but you know i'm kind of happy for the console players i think the game will be successful on console because it's not like they have too many choices when it comes to tactical shooters like insurgency sandstorm like i think the thing that comes close is probably rainbow six siege but that's not really a tactical shooter it's like really arcadey to be honest but yeah so that's that so overall it's an okay state of production i just wanted to go over that you know because i'm not sure i saw too many people talking about it and uh yeah so now we're going to be talking a little bit about domination and if it actually fits insurgency sandstorm so one thing that i noticed about this mode is that people seem to choose the same map over and over again what is people's fixation on picking domination on ministry i mean really i think the game mode with this map is awful it really reminded me of why I hated it in the first game. I don't understand why people like this. So that's my vent with Domination on Ministry. So that being said, I think that Domination really fits Insurgency Sandstorm well. I don't think it's anything revolutionary that other games have done before, but it really works with Sandstorm. I ended up having a lot of fun and uh, I'm really good when it comes to playing the objective. I'm not that great when it comes to killing too much. And uh, yeah, I really only have two gripes with this update and it's um, one, Insurgency Sandstorm has like really big maps. So it's kind of puzzling to me that they don't use more than just three objectives like they could easily put in five objectives for each map because it doesn't actually feel like a domination match to me it feels a lot like a um, firefight map with only three objectives so i mean they could have definitely put more than just three at least in my opinion let me know what you think down below the second grip that i have is the little ticker that's at the top right right there and that is the fps that kept dropping off anytime that i got into a match like i said at the very beginning of the video they seem to have optimized maps that weren't actually going to be for domination so again i find that very puzzling because this game mode uh, it had a lot of drops in fps it wasn't unplayable but you know there was a noticeable drop like you could actually see it and i don't know what really happened because insurgency sandstone was really good when it came to optimization at least before this patch like i feel like recently it's been not that great but maybe it's just my rig i have a pretty beefy rig so maybe i just like forgot to download some drivers or something i don't know 
I just felt like the game was a little less optimized than I remembered. But maybe that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Did you think that the new domination stuff was uh, pretty good? Did you have any issues with it? What are your thoughts on State of Production 4? Did it compel you enough to come back to a Surgency Sandstorm? If you want to see the full production, I'll put it down in the description for you to read. Let me know what you think. If you're someone that likes my content, be sure to like, share, and comment so that I can get past this algorithm. If you're someone that's new, be sure to click on the subscribe button and ding the bell. If you're someone that really wants to support me, check out my Patreon. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.